Hi, so I'm Multiman, uh, aka Inspector Gadget. I'm going to be making a video to explain the uh, single psycho waveform technique because there's some people ask, asking now in different forums and uh, about this technique in depth a little bit more on how to set up especially the, the Octatrack for for using this technique. So I'm gonna quickly start uh, creating a new project. By the way, well, all the waveforms I'm going to be using in this uh, tutorial are available on my website, so follow the link to get them for free. And uh, yeah, these waveforms are basically based on the uh, Adventure Kit uh, collection of psycho single cycle waveforms, which they were tuned in C and uh, added into chains, so they can be. Uh, uh, you can have a, like a, a waveform table, let's say 64 waveforms within one file and uh, by slicing uh, and uh, rearranging these uh, different uh, waveforms you can get a really good and uh, complex uh, results. So okay, we have a project right now here empty and uh, well to put something funny here I'm gonna start uh, building up, uh, adding some kicks and uh, for that I'm going to be using my super kicks. Okay, so these are my kicks which are uh, divided into eight. Okay, so I'm going to be creating a slice grid here of eight. Okay, now the same thing. Now we could be here choosing the different kicks. For example, this one. Now we're gonna go to channel two. This is where the fun starts. Now we're gonna first make sure we're using a flex machine, not a static machine. We're gonna set the loop into on, slice into on. Now we're going to also well, firstly load the waveforms. So I'm gonna come into my Spectre gadget uh, waveform collection. Samples, sample chains in C. I'm gonna pick up any of these which are indicated at the end as 64 waves so i don't know for this example we're gonna choose the first one okay now first of all we're going to come here and slice this into 64 okay no zero crossing and play some triggers here randomly now we're coming to the amp page and just set release and hold down. There you go. So we have the first, let's say, uh, wave being used right now. If we go into the playback page and we turn the start parameter, we will be scrolling through the different waveforms. 64 in this case, no? And uh, that's it. You could uh, automate here the start parameter, for example, to randomly change between waveforms. If we 
don't like this, for example, right now, well, we could go editing each single, uh, the pitch on each single step, no? One octave out. And then what the different things that you can do here as well is like the length parameter here in this setting when it's set to set to slices is gonna determine the length of the of the loop really so how many of the sound how many slices are gonna get in but when you use it into time mode, this basically does how long in time is that slice. So by adjusting this, you can have an extra level of control of the pitch. Okay. So for example, if we come into the LFO, pretty much it. Could do another one. Well firstly I'm going to deactivate the random selection of automate the hold parameter that's coming that's really cool hold yes okay maybe not all the way up but you know doesn't sound like a clarinet. Mm -hmm. 
But whatever. Let's do another one. Flex machine. On slice. Let's choose where is the Commodore 64? Granular. Never remember video game. Well, this is useful. 64 slice. 64 slices, no zero grossing. Well, anyway, when I was trying things with the with the Commodore 64 waveforms, you can note that uh, actually it sounds pretty similar to the RPG-8 waveform. amazing musically speaking but uh, you get the idea no, of uh, the technique so yeah I hope you enjoy it and uh, more videos coming soon